Hello, happy Tuesday, everybody. It's so nice to see you. I haven't been seen in a couple of weeks. In a while. Yeah. It's been a while. Welcome back. I know. So much fun with kids, grandkids, and great grandkids. So thank you for your patience. I'm glad that you guys are here. We are here for you to talk about painting and DIY. I'm Patty. I'm Carrie. And we are Studio R12 Stencils. That doesn't mean we only stencil, it means that we um, a lot stencil that we do backgrounds and painting and color theory. Today I'm going to share with you how to do some edge cleaning up and some edging. And I'm going to share um, color basing, like doing a little bit of an undercoat on a color that's really hard to paint with. Yeah, so well, when we went to market a couple of weeks ago and we always like to come back with trends so last week I started our, it, yeah. our trends with painting the edges of the projects and I'll share the link to that video in case you missed it. And then this week we are also talking about trends. So the month of July, we have been talking about Christmas almost every day in the newsletter in some way, shape or form. And guess what today is? Exactly six months until Christmas. <laughs> I know if you're a DIY crafter, um, gift maker, that kind of thing, you guys start the countdown because it's coming for you. Yes. Yeah. It may be the hottest time of the year, but like it, winter is, it's inevitable. It's a coming. <laughs> and so when we were at market, every year at market, we find trends for Christmas. Mm -hmm. it, there's all kinds of stores that have things that decorated. And so today we are going to be sharing some of the trends that we found. If you're in the newsletter, you already have kind of a sneak peek of what we're talking about. Yeah, and when we say market, um, that means that in um, like New York and Houston and um, Atlanta, LA, Las Vegas, they have giant skyscrapers, giant buildings filled with display booths of all the vendors that supply all the gift markets um, all of the clothing markets, all of that. They have just like maybe a dozen of them across the country. Right, so when you go into a store and buy things from a store, the store goes to, to a market. place like yeah. this and picks out what they want to sell in their store. We stopped at a very big gas station chain Bucky's. on <laughs> and saw a lot of stuff. If you guys stuff. haven't seen Bucky's, you gotta go. Yeah, and we saw a lot of stuff that that we saw at market and brands mm -hmm. that we see at market. So yeah. it's yeah. a lot of the things that you're shopping and buying in stores are yeah. coming Yeah, and from here. why that matters to you is that we get to go because we have a boutique. Um, and we could go if we were a designer as well, which we are. But because we do a gift boutique, um, that makes it our job to go. And so what that means for you is if you are painting to sell or painting to give or painting um, and you want to be stylish and know what's coming up, we go and spy it out and then we bring the report back to you. So that's yeah. a job that we do for you. I have to put ourselves in corrections corner. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. L LD corrected us. Uh -oh. We're not six months until Christmas. We're only five months until oh, no. Christmas. It's July. It's even worse. <laughs> it's even worse. So when I thank was, you for doing that math. <laughs> when I was so proud of myself for putting that in the newsletter today, I was a month off. Yeah, Sorry to okay. everybody. Um, so um, for all the humans watching us um, today. I just want to say that we are also human. <laughs> so just <laughs> FYI, um, sometimes um, a little grace. We yeah. just need grace Oops. every day. <laughs> so I have a couple of announcements before okay. we get started on Christmas. Make sure that you are subscribed to our newsletter on studior12.com. Yeah. If you are not, you can go to our website mm. and a big spin wheel will pop up. You can put in your email address and probably get a discount. And we send just out saying. newsletters with tips, with tricks, with video releases. Now is a really, 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 really great time to mm -hmm. sign up because we are starting to release our fall, Halloween, and Christmas designs. Yeah. Very, so very soon. you'll get the very, very latest. Yes, um, so you will see them yeah. as they come out. And then also on our YouTube channel, we go live on Tuesdays, which is where you're watching us on hey, YouTube you and on Facebook and on our YouTube channel we also release videos on Saturdays that are more succinct, less chatty, more gritty when it comes to getting the projects done. Yeah, this is about us talking with you personally. So if you guys want to participate, we are here to answer questions. We are here to um, 
to solve problems. Um, we are here to, you know, just talk together over what it all means about DIY and painting. But Saturday is going to be your meat and potatoes. That's a lesson. It tells you all of the um, how to do this kind of finish, how to how to base a knot hole, mm -hmm. like all the things like that that will make your painting easier. Yeah. Saturdays are good. And this is good. I, I enjoy this a lot. But Saturday is meat and potatoes. Yep. And so last week on Saturday, we released our um, garage sale. I call it a garage sale, Susan. Our garage sale, Lazy Susan, a ginormous Lazy Susan that Patty found at a garage sale. And she made it into In Florida. a personalized gift that we gave to a co-worker who's getting married and yeah. we loved it and we are happy to say that our Sensil fans loved it too. Can I say um, the personalization, we have a few things on the table that I'm going to share today that are personalized. The personalization is such a big deal. Um, Kathleen is who we gave the Lazy Susan to. I remade it and she's uh, all about natural textures and stuff like that so I incorporated those things. Mm -hmm. But then we put her married name on it, and all of the married name family are all like, ooh, ooh, I want that, right? So this is a big deal. Like, people love their name on things, and we do hundreds and hundreds of personalized styles and files that we can do for you with your spelling. I don't know how many Caitlin's that I've um, had their name be like 26 different spellings of Caitlin. You know, yeah. and so like there's so many creative spellings these days. We can do it exactly how it is, so you don't have to look for the license plate for your bike that you can never find your actual spelling. It's me. <laughs> I will. Our my stepdaughter did bring me home a little keychain that is the license plate from Maine, and it had my name spelled correctly. That's like, the so first it's a big deal. Listen, I am thirty something, and that's the first time I've ever received one of those because so they sweet. never had them so sweet and as i have said in the past and if you're new then you're going to get it first time and if you're repeating then i'm sorry but um the stencils are reusable so if you reuse your stencil then you can make a gift for everybody that's i'm rawlinson mm -hmm. and i give I, I give my daughter-in-laws all the same kind of present every year so that it just keeps it nice and even so I can make one in this color for her and one in this color for her and, you know, just think the thing yeah. through and, but I only have to buy one stencil. Yeah. So it's really, really it handy. It nice. So this weekend on our YouTube channel, we are continuing our releases of bleach projects. So we had released the bleach through stencils t-shirt a couple of weeks ago. And this weekend, Patty's going to show you how to bleach on a pillow cover. So what I love about this is there's zero texture difference in the, the technique. And I was able to splatter around the, the thing and make it just look distressed and aged like old, old, old stuff. These are pillow covers from Ikea. I'm going to show you another one here today. Um, this is a natural muslin and it bleached out perfectly. Mm -hmm. These are so cheap. This would make the best fall gift. I mean, it's just yeah. amazing. And then they have the um, natural down or the synthetic filler, which is super affordable as well. So Ikea, if you don't already shop there for stuff like this, you need to put that on your list. Yeah, yeah. it's incredible. Yeah, so we're Love releasing it. that this weekend and we have one more very special announcement for you. That if you've been on our social and if you've been in the newsletter, you have likely seen it. But we are finally happily able to announce that we have released a project of the month. <gasps> yes, it took us two years. <laughs> There's a surprisingly a lot of things to work out. There's a lot of details yeah. that you might not think. Yeah. You have so to think what through. we really wanted to do. So you guys, project of the month is going to be um, just a recurring. You, subscription in the future right now it's not subscription it's just you can sign up and get the one right now we just wanted to start there and see how we felt about all the moving pieces but the reason we did project of the month is so that you get just about everything that you need you're gonna get your stencils you're gonna get your embellishments you're gonna get your um, surface and you're gonna get everything to complete the thing except the paint and the brushes and that kind of thing so um, it's 
special and we didn't we tried we tried thinking our way through stencil of the month but because we have seven thousand plus stencils mm -hmm. it like it's a bet that you might have something that repeats but with the project we can bring in all of the variables and make it really special so it's a special it's cute yeah it's, it's super cute. cute and so we have not released what you specifically what you'll be getting yeah. you won't know that until you open your box yeah yeah it's a but surprise box i can tell but it's a good you surprise. that you will receive exclusive stencils to make a reversible project. Yep. So that means you're going to receive you're going to receive things to make two projects. You'll receive multiple stencils, you'll receive a new surface that is also exclusive. The things that we are sending yep. you are not currently available on the website. You're going to receive embellishments, you're going to receive special coupons and some other fun it's, it's goodies. A, it's a big darn deal. Like it's it's a neat deal. This is um I'm pretty satisfied. Yeah, we're, yeah. we're super oh, excited. Oh, and then I wanted to share, earlier we were talking about the stencils and some of the, the trends and stuff. We are USA made right here in Ohio, Southeast Ohio, right where we are right now um, in this building. Um, we manufacture everything that we do here. So we don't have to be last year's trends to get things from other countries next year. So like if you're gonna do a trend-based business you have to if you're going to order it from overseas you have to be way ahead and so you are getting the latest and greatest like literally sometimes from market will be like ooh, i saw the red truck we went to market yeah. and every store featured the red truck when it came in we came home we hand drew a red truck put it into our our line and then you guys had it hot sure. off yep hot off the market shelves so it's it's a big deal that we do this in this way yes. so yeah. So with the box, it is a pre-order, and you will pre-order it between now and August 4th is the cutoff date. 2023. Of 2023, and then they will ship on August 15th of 2023. Yes. So I'm excited, and your value is something like $81 yeah. or something? It's 80-something, 80 yeah. 82 maybe, 80, and, yeah. and, and it's marked it's down to, to $39.99. So you're getting a... Phenomenal. We want a first time, first time value for you guys to see what you think. We want your feedback. Um, you know, I, we're excited. It's cute. I got just. It's cute. Yeah, it's cute. And the, and what's cool Wait, about how's it that is, go? there's all the, you're going to be able to reuse some of. You're going to yeah. be able to reuse the stencils. That's that's why we do things is so we can reuse and reuse yeah. and reuse and re show you different ways to do things. Yeah. All right, so shall we get started? We can get started. Be sure to like, share, and comment. I have, I grabbed, listen, I grabbed a bunch of stuff for us to paint this morning. We were painting samples and having a good old time in here. Yeah. And we I have a music. We didn't put on We music. didn't put on, we should have put on Christmas oh, music. That would have been the best. But I grabbed an extra surface and stencil that Jeez. I did not have time to paint. So we're going to give this away today. It's an old fashioned, sleigh rides with a surface to boot. So let's talk about trends because that is a perfect segue into this. Um, at market, the um, trends were, the, I, I feel like it's just a recession-y era kind of trend. Go home to mama and just resurrect all the warm, cuddly feelings that Christmas brings to you and your family. Um, and so that's what we saw at market. Um, gingerbread, um, classic colors, um, all the things. It, it was so classic, it was ridiculous. Um, the tea towel stripes were incredible. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, we saw the earth in old fashioned. So today we wanna to talk to you about colors and why different things are gonna be the way that they are. Like, let's talk about how you make the trend, okay? So I'm going to go here. So what we saw when we went to market was we saw green and red, green and red and white backgrounds. Those were all the backgrounds. Mm -hmm. um, there was a little bit with the like cocoa-y tan color, but mostly green and red, green and red, green and red. And so then, so when we are looking at that, this is, so to make this a little bit old fashioned, um, we added the tea towel stripe element. The tea towel stripes were last year's trend mm -hmm. of the year um, and it's back. It's even worse than it was last, not yeah. worse, but it's more. It's um, you can use it through the middle of your stencil. You can use it to base your stencil. Mm -hmm. You can use it on the ends of your stencil. 
you can use it um, to make a pattern with. It's incredible, it's everywhere. So if you wanna add that trendiness, we have tea towel stencils um, in, I think, seven or eight. Several different sizes. Yeah, and sizes designs. and shapes and styles and stuff like that. So, but this classic red, and then I've got a second one here. So this is just kind of almost chalk looking. So it's a little vintage looking um, with just the faded swirl. I made a comment today that I said, I don't know what people do that don't swirl. Like, I, I don't <laughs> even know. Like... If you are new and you don't know what swirling is, please, please, please learn how to swirl because it makes this faded look really easy. It's not exhausting that pouncing of flat um, stencil brush people that do that. Um, these are dome brushes. Um, they are domed in all the ways and because they're domed, when you push on it, it doesn't push the flat bristles out. Um, flat was the way it was forever, um, but the domes have changed that. You guys, this is the this is the way to stencil because it's not just exhausting. Mm -hmm. I think I find stippling to be exhausting. Um, okay, so then you can take the same kind of stencil. So here's North Pole Milk and Cookies. We've distressed it by sanding through. We have done a drop shadow and then sanded through everything so you can make it old fashioned like AKA antique looking by sanding and doing some distressing. Well, and this stencil comes with the corners that's, Ooh, on, yeah, yeah. that's on the big one. Okay, and? And with on the small ones for the samples we painted today, we just left those off and used the tea towels instead. Yeah, so that left that extra space. Yeah, so when we were grabbing surfaces for today, we just wanted to grab some random surfaces to show you how on the big one, it really worked with the corners yep. because it fit perfectly. But when we put it on the smaller surface, it would have really boxed it off to put those corners on there. Yeah. So then the tea towels just make an incredible shape, a stripe to help take out Agreed. that And then face. this really has a little bit of element of a tea towel on it, it with does. the little stripiness that goes there. And then the um, on the, the boxiness thing, um, Signs like this size, you can make them. Um, you can put these on dimensional lumber, so like a two by four, a two by six, a 12 by what, I don't know what they come in. I, I'm married to a woodworker and I'm sorry, I don't know the answer. Um, however, but they will be self-standing, so you can actually do something that can sit on your mantelpiece or something like that. So that is really good to know. And then you can, of course, reuse them because they're reusable. Okay. And then the other thing that we saw at market, so red and green, red and green, like the black Show and yellow. the back thing. of that one. The back. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I forgot about that. Okay, so this is the way that you can combine the two of them. So you can make it a minty look. Um, it super has a candy cane feel to it. It does. I love that. And so then this is the tea towel, stripe detail. Same thing, same stencil, different colors. So um, I've got five daughter-in-laws, right? So... Maybe one is into natural. I might do a stain with a black something. And then maybe say the other is more traditional. I might mm -hmm. do this guy. Maybe somebody else is into pastels. Um, so just knowing your people and then making little signs for office workers and all that. Like I cannot beat the drama about homemade gifts. Right. Well, and even thinking about colors, colors on your wall. So my walls are all stark white. So I'm not doing white signs in my house right yeah. now, because, so I need a pop to yeah. really make it make it go. So then I'm going to use the dark background, yep. even though I really love the white. And it's really, that's really what a lot of the things that we saw this year was the white with yeah. the, the reds and greens. I have um, one of these in like 40 by 20 that goes on my dining room wall that I switch out with an everyday version but I use the red on my yeah. walls too. So, okay, so then the other thing that was very there um, was the buffalo check was still there. Yes. It's still alive and well, it is ticking, and this is our countdown to Christmas. And then with this one, we took this countdown to Christmas stencil, and then we, I don't think that this one comes with the, the buffalo plaid. We do have a combo set okay. with it. Mm -hmm. So there's a combo set that you can get, but um, we combined the snowflakes with the buffalo with the numbers and the things so that you can combine your stencils and like some we were talking today about the tall porch sign with the hello summer and just combining different elements with it. It's a very big thing. So another 
version. Now, something that we did see, this is our number 18 red, and I'm gonna hold them both up, but this one takes a little bit of extra. Okay, this guy is um, number 60. So this was what we saw as a trend, mm -hmm. and the darker red was not what we saw as the trend. It was definitely- There were some. There were some, There were yes. a couple of places that have whole walls filled with the 18 color, yeah. but overall- It was a brighter the red. The bright yeah. red is more. Yeah, and then I've got a green to show you in just a hot second, So, um, and then we're gonna get into the painting lesson but this is a super fun way to you know get some little tags and you know this is just a fun element we have raised words that you can put on your projects as well um and then this is one so merry christmas i believe you have a yes we have a sale today mm -hmm. i will share the link with you guys on we knew we were talking about traditional yep. and since we were talking about traditional trends we put our merry christmas stencils on sale and we have a ton of Merry Christmas. I think it's more yeah. than 50. Yeah. And they come in different fonts and different sizes and different shapes. And some have embellishments and some yep. are just words. But there's a lot 50, of 50 is a lot. You guys, we have 7,000 titles. So if you have friends that love to paint and DIY, make sure you let them know um, that we exist. So, um, but this project is a Merry Christmas. And it's done with sawdust. And so I don't know, can you get in on that crunchiness? It's so crunchy, you guys. This is one of our videos on our website, and this is um, on YouTube, sorry. And um, it is an incredible technique. Um, Gertie, I'm not saying it right, because it's like, a, I don't know how to do it, but she shared this with us um, two or three years ago, and I haven't looked back. I love this technique, so you need to see how this is done. It's incredible. But this is distressed, it has um, fake rust, and it has this wonderful texture. Love this. But what a difference. I mean, let's go... Well, the next one I'm going to show you is the painting lesson, but I'm going to use the same stencil and the look is completely different. Okay, so now we're going to talk about one last thing and then we are going to paint is I want to talk about the softer side of painting. So I'm going to show you undercoating with this Santa, um, Santa Mail North Pole Express. Okay, I'm gonna show you how I undercoated with a darker color and then top coated with another color. I'm gonna show you what that means, but this Santa would be so great on a pillow form. So Ikea has these faux velvet pillow forms and that would be, you could put it on a sign, put it in a wreath, then repeat it on your um, on your pillow form, and you could put it on an apron. Aprons were how many aprons oh did we gosh. buy? Eighty-five aprons, I swear. We bought a lot of aprons. Um, but the other thing, tea towel stripes that you can buy. This was at I believe Michaels or Hobby Lobby, and it comes pre-tea toweled. So you could Santa on your tea towel stripes and on your little towel. These little towels, when you buy them pre-arted, are, I mean, $9, right? This is $2.49, you know, and then you get it your 50% off coupon or whatever, and then you've got a beautiful gift to give to somebody. You could put it with hot cocoa mugs and that kind of thing. You could totally make up a thing. And then the last one is hot pads from Dollar Tree. So this is the one that we did for our Valentine. And so we have a lot of stencils that you could use on hot pads and we show you how to do that on that video. So don't forget the softer side and then that is how you can reuse because maybe you don't want 50 Santa signs all over but maybe, maybe you want a dog mat that has a Santa thing on it and then maybe you want it in green for your front porch. Like you can totally have all the things. Worn okay. out. I know, right? Okay, so let's talk about how to paint undercoats of red. Red is one of the most impossible colors to paint with. Um, I'm going to take, this is our Mylar palette paper. Um, we get, it comes in the long strip. You can get it on the website. It's really cheap, really affordable, and you can cut it down or we've used them in other videos to be like long rulers, like straight edges and stuff because they are laser cut. So they're always going to be straight. And then I always tape mine down. If I can find the the starting point. 
just don't like it shifting. Um, our green stretchy tape is a non-damaging stretchy tape, so it's sticky enough, but not too sticky. So you can tape it onto furniture and stuff like that. Okay, so we're gonna go here. We're gonna get out. So I'm gonna show you what I've accomplished so far. So I'm gonna hold this down because I wanna lay it right down nice and evenly. Okay, so up here is my second coat of color. So that's my number 60, and I'm gonna pull that over. Number 60 is the color that we saw at market, okay? Number 18, now in the bottle, it looks way different than it does on your project. And on your project, it's gonna be like this. Okay, so, but here we wanted to cover the white because if you don't cover that white, then you get pink. And pink is ew, unless you're doing this pastel for Christmas. So you wanna make sure that you cover it really well. And so this is the mask over here. And then this is with the red on top, and I'm gonna show you the red on top, but you can see how it's kind of just like a little bit pinkish looking everywhere. Okay, so we'll lay that down, make sure that we think we're lined up. Okay, how many of you swirl? I wanna see some hands. Give me a heart, do a thing. We had someone say that they just want some stencils and they are going to use the swirling technique when they get them yeah. as, a, as a new thing they're gonna try. Yeah, it's a weird thing when you do it. Like, so I didn't know about swirling and um, I was like, mm, I don't know if I believe. I'm a believer, like it's completely the best way to go. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna take your dry brush, dome brush, you're gonna pick up a little bit of your red paint and you're not gonna glom it, you're not gonna scoop your paint, you're just gonna kind of push into your puddle. Then you're gonna come and offload, you always offload your paint. And so, because I'm on white background, I wanna make sure that I am very offloaded, so I'll offload a little bit of extra. And then, cause there's no like, there's like white jeans, you're always, every drop of mud that you walk through or whatever is gonna show. Okay, so then we just go on top of here, and we just gently rub, and you can see it already. Um, Steve, if you can right here, I'm gonna go there next. So we're gonna go over here, and you'll see that darken. And it's also gonna redden. And I know that redden isn't a word. It's a word. It's a word today. <clears throat> so we've started doing some fun stuff on our website as Patty is painting this that I wanted to share with you. We have started showing off and showcasing some of our stencil fan product photos. So when they, when you guys send us pictures of your finished projects, we will grab some of them and put them on the website for that stencil so that if we have someone wanting to buy that stencil and get some inspiration, if we have some inspiration on there, then they can maybe have some colors, they can see what you're doing. And we've received several pictures of projects that it was before we started putting mm -hmm. inspiration pictures together. So it's nice to have those to add. And then also on our website, you might notice, so when we have the photos showing examples of how to paint, Elaine has does all of those and does such an incredible job. And she has started adding photos so you see the picture of how it's project of how it's painted. And then there's also information on the specific color she used from our paint color yeah. guide to paint those. So you'll have the, the project and then you'll have little pictures of honey bottles showing the colors that we use. So that is something that's new. And our friend Kelly said that she likes to, she's like seeing those so that she can see what colors we what colors we used on the samples. Yeah, so the color chart that we're talking about is this guy right here. And um, these are our 80 colors that we're using and they are, um, we've numbered them with our number, named them with our names, but they are converted to DecoArt Americana mm -hmm. and converted to Sherwin-Williams. If you paint big, can you hand me the um, bottle down there? If you paint big, then the sample size from Sherwin-Williams is amazing. And then if you don't paint big and you don't paint like lots of reusable stuff or like over and over stuff, then you, the little bottles of deco art work great. But these are the colors we use and now we're referencing them so that you can see exactly how we made that happen. Okay, so let's take a look. 
at this. So then we da 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 reveal. Okay, so look how fun that is. Super retro y. You could sand this and make it a little bit more. Like I said, this would be so cute on that red pillow in white only. Um, it's just amazing. I love that we include like the banding and stuff um, so that you always get like a fully trimmed out piece, i.e. Come here, baby. So by having the corners and having the bands around the words, then you don't have to put things together. So we're giving you a lot of that design element that you um, will make your life easier when you're painting. So that is how you undercoat. Exit. Undercoating. Number 18 plus 60. And I undercoated two coats swirling. And then I top coated the third coat with number 60 only. So I went from these two together to this one only. And then that gave me that bright look compared to compared to that. So now let's go on to borders and banding. Okay, so the green in question that was at market that we really, 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 really saw was this color green. Totally, yeah, it's a very cool green. So it's number 71 plus number 41. It was like two of 71 and one of 41. The 41 was just to give it a greener cast and push it over to the warm. Um, so that's that little teeny bit of color theory. If you find a paint color that looks a little bit yellow, like this looks like it has a lot of yellow in it, and this is a lot of blue. Blue is cool and yellow is warm. By mixing the two, you come up with something in the middle and that makes it easy. When I started painting the green, I went automatically to this green. This green is not what I would call a uh, classic green. This one is definitely what we were looking at. Okay, so I wanna show you how to trim this out because this is something that's tricky for people. So I thought that would be a good um, mix of examples. So totally every week that we come into your home, into your computer device, phone, I don't know, when we, into your when brain. we get there, into your brain, there you go. Um, we really try hard to give you techniques that will help you achieve your results. This is number 22 and it's the vintage white color. So instead of white, um, this kind of green looks really good with this kind of like almost cream color and we're going to use a special tool. So this is the um, ink sweeper and it has a very soft, it's also dome. You'll notice the jumbo daubers, the brushes, and these applicators are all domed. The dome is what, the mag what makes the magic and makes it easy to paint. So we want this to be easy for you, not hard. Okay, so we're gonna take our board and we're gonna definitely use our glasses. We want to load into a dry applicator, a little bit of paint, and then I'm going to push it on the palette away from the paint. Can you see that okay? Am I totally in your way? Yes. I am totally in Steve's way. Everybody give Steve some hurt because he puts up with me every day. Okay. Cleared? Okay. So we press it to get rid of stuff and move it on there evenly so you can see how it's nice and even. Then I blot it off. You always offload. And then to cover this, and we just tap. And that is going to make the cream color band all the way around. By pressing and offloading, you are going to make a very clean line. And that is the most important thing. So you want no water, you want no goopy paint, you want clean. And then when you get done with that, if you choose to, you can choose to do what Carrie showed us last week. If you guys haven't seen that video, you need to go see it because it's so cute. These are your little banding stencils. Um, and I don't know if you've noticed in your packages, you're getting the little stencil fan deck piece each time you order. And they're always different. Well, they're different each month-ish. Mm -hmm. um, sorry. If you get a duplicate, give it to a friend and, and share. But, um, but to do that little bit of detail on the edge 
is absolutely the magic. That's like the special sauce, you know? So this is incredible to do. I love that. And then she just used words all over it. And then this is that dimensional number, that two by four. Um, you can get them in bigger sizes and cut them down. And you can go to the hardware store and get the guys to cut them, or the people, I shouldn't guy that, um, to cut them down for you into like 12 inch lengths or whatever size you want. But imagine this piece of lumber, say it's $8 for a long thing, and you get like eight or nine of these and you can make little coworker gifts. Um, just really special, so. I feel like I talked a little, little, just a little. A lot of talking. <laughs> Always a lot of talking. You were gone for a couple weeks and you just had to unleash I, I did. I had so much to say. I didn't get to talk about market. We went to the family thing yeah. and it was like, there was no market talking. No market talking. None at all. Okay, I think okay. we're good. Are you I, going to paint the Merry Christmas on oh, that background? Oh, shoot. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Why, well, yes, I am. I would love to paint Yes, Austin's I would love to today. do that. Okay, so this is the one that's the same. Oh, my Lanta. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, the same as this one, okay? But this is on the texture and all of that. So the cream instead of the white was the key there. So when I'm looking at something that doesn't have um, even, like my stencil isn't exactly the size, and if it's dimensional lumber, it will never be the exact size because that lumber is never the same. Yeah. So I will just use my eyeball calipers and I will kind of center it and then I'll use something straight like the bottom of the edge of the thing to stick it down. And then you use your tape, always tape in two spots um, so that your stencil doesn't shift. If a shifting, a shifty stencil is bad. Always <laughs> I don't like shifty stencils. <laughs> shifty stencils are no bueno. Okay, so just in two spots. So I can go over the edge here. I feel like I'm not quite straight. Tape that down, take that down. And then I have a nice secure stencil. So once again, we're going to go in and we're going to use the swirling. So if you're new to swirling, we're gonna do this together, okay? So we're gonna pick up our dry paint with our dry brush, never water. The reason you need more than one of these brushes is because they can't be used wet when you change colors. Um, they are a natural fiber brush, so um, they hold the water. It's gonna be tomorrow before you're gonna be able to reuse that brush, even if you blow dry, or even if you use rubbing alcohol, it's gonna be a while. And so, I think that's a brand new brush. It is a brand new brush. It's brand new. I saved it's, it for you. It's, it's new. <laughs> We get we get them pretty uh, pretty rough looking right here. You can see. Whew, I got a whole set in there. I can see them. Okay, so we offload. And when you first start, offload double. Like don't just offload just a teeny bit. Offload a lot, because that way you don't have any oopsies. You know, don't we don't want oopsies. So then with the lightest pressure. So if I'm a paintbrush the swirling would not make my fingers bend at all the bris bristles bend at all if i'm pushing it's going to start pushing that down it's going to start start shoving it won't be like a flat brush but it will still shove so you want to be careful so my swirling is going to be super soft just like baby ah, uh, soft <laughs> i know come on okay so we're going to swirl won't cover very much but it'll dry instantly you won't bleed under, it'll dry instantly. You will be very, very satisfied because it's also not exhausting. So there's a couple ways to tell if you have too much paint on your brush after you have offloaded onto your paper towel. One is to test it on the palm of your hand and rub the brush on the palm of your hand. And if it is wet, if it is wet and goopy Let me and do it, it stands up. If it does that, <laughs> you definitely have a problem. <laughs> So let's do a medium problem. I'll wipe that off and I'll do a different spot. So a medium problem, you can still see that. Okay, I wanna see uh, that. Next to Just nothing. Next to nothing. Okay. And then the second way you can tell is when you are on your project, 
If you can see swirl lines and, and lines from your brush on your project, you still have too much paint. And so just go back and take some off. You know, it's super easy to do. Like just, if, when in doubt, take it out. Like, I am so excited. Our friend Jeffrey, he's been tuning in the last couple of weeks. Hi, and he won a prize. He's going to start swirling. Yes. And he just said, my wife is going to get the August project for me. It's for Yay. his birthday gift. And that's what he asked for. He's 54 years young. I love it. His Jeffrey. birthday is July 31st. So happy early birthday happy from birthday. all of us. Yes. How that exciting. is fantastic, Jeffrey. That is amazing. You're going to love it. You're going to love it. It's 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 jaw droppy cute it's it's super cute. i think it's super cute okay anyway so we're going along notice that it like i'm still talking but notice that um i'm completely dry over here so now i can go immediately and i'm not doing that bum, 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 and it really does take you do it you switch between the stipple pounce thing and the swirl and then you see how your arm feels i do not like stippling, Sam. I am. It does not make me happy. Well, and we've, a lot of people have said that they are swirlers. We also have had people say, I do both. Yeah. Patty is primarily a swirler. She very yeah. rarely stipples. I did um, stipple today when I was doing the red on Santa's hat. Yes. Because I needed coverage. Yes. And so stippling is when you would, if you need coverage and something is stubborn, um, you can go ahead and stipple and it will do a really good coat. Um, if I have a big area like Santa's hat was moderate, I'm putting him back up here. He's a skinny Santa's hat, but Santa's hats can be big. I would switch to the jumbo dauber to do my stippling because it, it covers more evenly. And we've got videos on big space mm -hmm. holes and, um, that's important to know when to do that too. Yes, and I use, I typically also use the stippling for wanting a really bright and bold color. So for the samples I painted today, I just did a, did a one layer, maybe two layer swirl. But Steve, if I can have you show the Merry Christmas porch sign behind Patty, that is a really, really, really bold black and white on that red background and that definitely had to be stippled just to get it to pop so much off yep. of that red background. So um, those of you who are new to swirling, um, and it's okay, like we all started somewhere, um, but those of you who are, then what you want to do if you're nervous, because when we're nervous, we tend to hurry, we tend to flub, you know, and the thing, um, just get one of those boxes that's delivered to your porch, mm -hmm. a brown paper bag, cut out a cereal box and use the brown side. Um, those are all practice sheets. Um, I used to cut out the cereal box thing for technique practice all the time when I was a newer painter. So um, don't be afraid to practice because that'll make you feel confident. Okay, I'm gonna show you a little peeky poo and you should all be peekers. Um, you're not going to want to not peek because you want to make sure that um, you're getting the effect that you want. So we'll go here and then we can see that it's still a little ghosty looking, a little bit of um, chalky. So we'll go one more coat. And so I almost always will hold my stencil down when I'm going to peek, lift it up, but not move this hand so that everything stays stable. Because if you start, let's go ahead and do it because I think that's the lesson, right? Okay, so if I lift this up, now I'm only with one piece of tape, so I don't have that anchor. So now I have to do the horrible deed for me, which I'm always bad at it, and line that all back up. That actually went pretty well. It's big and clunky though, so I think that's why. So when you, when you unhinge, it becomes a free float, and so if you have something super detailed and, and you wanna make sure it's precise, then you hand hold, then peek. So there's techniques to peaking even. Okay, last coat. And don't forget to like and share and comment. I will announce the winner of our old fashioned stencil and surface on Wednesday. 
July 26th, 2023, at noon Eastern. It's a lot of numbers. It's a lot of numbers. Um, you guys um, know that we're here for you and know that um, your comments get read every single day. Yes. And we answer, Carrie um, is the, she, she grabs me, but um, if she can't answer, but she's like pretty damn good now. Darn good. <laughs> Whoops. Um, I'll take that. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, so, but if she can't, then she comes and gets me, but she is driven to make sure that your questions get answered and we just love to be here for you. So um, you guys are the best. We love it. But your comments matter is what I was going for. Yes. If you don't tell us what you're interested in, we mm -hmm. can't we can't help. Sure. So. Well, and, if, and that's one of the reasons that we do this on Tuesdays is because yeah. we want to. If you're running into into things on your projects, and we don't know about it, we can't help you get through it. Yes. And we have people emailing us and sending us messages on Facebook and sending us messages on Instagram all the time and saying, okay. Here's a picture of my project. This is what happened. How can I yeah. fix it? And so we'll go back and kind of work our way through it. Sometimes we don't know all the answers, yeah, but we'll always. we'll try we to know a lot of answers. <laughs> we'll we'll try to help you troubleshoot. Yeah, I was thinking this morning that we need to make a um, pro level um, video for you guys that want to take it to like the next level. Okay, yes. you guys ready? Yes. Let's take a peeky poo. And ta-da! Yay. So easy, easy, easy. If you have a hair or a piece of something that um, is on your piece, you can use a sanding brick to even things out without distressing it. Um, that's a really good way. I really like to do a light sanding over my stencil once it's dry um, because it takes the um, raised bit out. And on the raised bit, the reason our stencils are 7.5 mil is so that they don't get too thick. Um, we don't want this to be like um, everything doesn't need to be like a relief mm -hmm. um, project. So we want it to be as flat as possible, but have as much hold as possible. So it's the happy me. It's the Goldilocks. Yes, model. It is the Goldilocks of stencils. I love it. All right. I think now I did the thing. You did your job. <laughs> did my job. You did your job so we can go to lunch now. <laughs> you guys, thank you so much for joining us. And Tuesdays are the lives and Saturday mornings are the meat and potatoes videos. Yes. See you then.